Welcome back to another video, y'all. Today is January 6th, bro. So just like the Thanksgiving food, bro, it is time to get rid of this Christmas tree, y'all. It is time to get rid of that, bro. But look, like I said, it's Friday night. I'm trying to try something new, y'all. And what I'm gonna try is this place called Elotoria. It had this bitty of ramen, bro. You feel me? And Shorty was dipping the tacos in the ramen. It was looking crazy. It's two hours away, y'all. I'm gonna zoom there real quick. We're gonna see what's up with it. Look, y'all don't do what I just did unless you wanna have a big mess in your house. I didn't think this through. Don't do this. Don't do this. This is about to be a two hour commute, bruh. Food better be worth it. Cause I see a lot of things online. They look crazy online. But when you get there, you be like, yo, bruh, what is this? So I'm currently at the gas station filling up, y'all. And I just realized this place closes in three hours, bro. We're two hours away. So we gotta zoom all the way out there real quick and see what's up with it. I'm gonna go in here and get a beverage. Go ahead and grab me an apple juice. We on healthy vibes today, y'all. All right, y'all, I got my beverage. Let's head out there real quick. I heard that nigga talk a super put him on the list. And I don't even know my shooter here in All right, y'all, so we finally here. And I did not realize how long two hours really is, bro. My stomach's been hurting me the whole time. And I kind of had second thoughts about doing this, y'all. But we here now, you feel me? Elotaria. Hopefully this don't worth this two hour commute, y'all. Oh, they got a little seafood establishment right there. Might gotta check that out too. So they got ice cream and all type of stuff in this joint. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Based off the aroma, it's smelling crazy. All right, y'all, so look. Went ahead and ordered it. Man, she talking about it's gonna be an hour wait, bro. An hour wait for this, bro. It better go crazy, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm in this, bro, I've never been to Richmond, Virginia before. This is in the crease, y'all. Two hours away from the crib, like, damn. I ain't gonna get home till midnight. This joint better be righteous. So while I'm waiting, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and eat a mango nada. Never had this before. Apparently, it's like some mango, tahini, chamoy. Like, I've never had this before, but this don't look crazy. See what's up with it. <clears throat> so it's kind of sour. Salty. Hold on. Real salty on the top. Spilling everywhere. Bruh. Ah, woo. All of this, that stuff that I told you was, was uh, salty, that's hot sauce. Hold on. You can't even drink it through the straw. It's so thick. Super thick. Hold on, let me get the ice cream, y'all. Or the mango. Yeah, this don't. It's some super duper salty, y'all. All right, I'm trying to try the middle because maybe the top's just salty. So I'm trying to push it over. Get, oh, I'm spilling this everywhere. I'm not even about to review this no more, bro. Oh, shit. It's getting all over my gear, bro. Y'all, look at this shit. Crazy, bro. Super messy. <laughs> And then they talking about some sorry, no public restaurants. Man, y'all got me fucked up. How you gonna serve messy food and then say no public restroom so I can't get in here and freshen up? You know what I mean? Nah. You know what I'm saying? I ran up in this junk. You feel me? I'm gonna do what I do. Absolutely crazy. Always flush with your foot. Unfortunately, y'all, that really didn't make a difference. It's still there all over my stuff. But I mean, I tried, right? So I drove two hours here to wait an hour, mess up my clothes, y'all. And I'm still in this zone, waiting, bro. It is kind of packed in this zone, y'all. Ain't gonna hold you. Damn, the street corn ain't even grilled. They done boiled the street corn. Hey, I got my food, y'all. He's saying this y'all gonna go crazy. That shit worth the wait, bro. Watch. He's gonna tell you when you eat. Look, like, look. Guaranteed. We gonna see what's up with it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And they gave us another manganata. 
That shit nasty. I'm going to try it again. Now, I'm going to try it again. After that long wait, they probably messed up. They probably, oh, we probably didn't give him this mango nata. Whole time I already had one. I got another one on the house. Grab this. Yeah, it's too thick. You can't bring it through the straw. Bro, this don't look like it's going to be sweet, bro. Don't it look like a, like a strawberry mango combination? No. It's Salt City. So as y'all see, I got the goodies. Right here we got that bitty of ramen. Not going a lot of y'all. It was an hour wait. Hopefully it was worth the wait. And on this side, we got them bitty of tacos with that Cosme up in there. You feel me? Last time y'all seen a couple weeks ago, we went to a spot. There was hair on the taco. The taco was gross. Corn tortillas, they're not even crispy, bro. These right here, they super flimsy, bro. They did not specialize in bitty of. But we all the way out here out Richmond, bro. Hopefully these hit. So I'm not even going lie to y'all. This definitely look better than that bullshit from that last video. Look at that broth. Look how juicy it is. Look at these tacos. Look how cheesy they are. So first things first, y'all. I'm going to try the tacos as is. And just go ahead and dip it in the consomme. And then I'm going to do it like the lady from TikTok. And dip it in the ramen. See how it hits with the ramen. So look. Splash time. Oh, yeah. We dunking that hoe. Woo. Let's see what's up with that. Little bit of crisp to the tortilla. Mm-hmm. Super cheesy. One more. The meat is a little salty. But it's definitely a better batch than the ones that we had at that other restaurant. For sure, for sure. I've had better video tacos from the food truck up the road. But these definitely ain't bad. You know what I'm saying? But we really came for that beardy of ramen. That's why I drove two hours, bro. That ramen was looking crazy. Let's see what's up with it. All right, when you're looking at the ramen, bro, the ramen looks exactly like that costume. The only thing is, they put some ramen noodles in it. Look at all that meat. You see how it's looking. These noodles are just soaking in that costume. We gonna try the noodles plain, and then we gonna try with the tacos. Let's see what's up. Super hot. Great for a night like this. Bruh. This joint is crazy. Explosive. Mm. It's extremely flavorful, y'all. The ramen's a little bit spicy. Then they got that beef up in there. And that beef is juicy as heck, bro. Look at it. Taking a bite of this, it's like eating one of the wettest. Not gonna lie. That's how juicy it is. I'm gonna take one of these tacos. You said. We gonna dip it in that ramen like the woman did on TikTok. Oh yeah, I got. I can't let that meat fall. Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah. It's like that. The flavor is in the ramen. The ramen tastes better than just the Cosme alone. I don't know if they added a little bit of extra seasoning to this or something, but this ramen is top tier. And this taco would not hit the same without this ramen. Dead ass serious. I'm gonna get a ramen a 9.5 out of 10. On everything I love. Tacos alone, tacos alone gonna get like a seven, because I've had better. I had better ramen before at a place called Big Poppies in Frederick, Maryland. Shit was ass. This right here, 9.5 out of 10. 
Definitely would eat it again. Was it worth the two hour drive? For the video, yeah. Would I do it again just for this? I don't know, maybe if I'm hungry and shit and I really want this, I might. Now we got the elote, the Mexican street corn. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm kind of disappointed because I love elote. And I love when the elote is charred. You see, this is not charred. They did not grill this. What they did was they boiled it. You y'all seen it in the water. I video I videotaped it for y'all. You feel me? I like grilled corn. I don't like this boiled stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's some stuff my grandmother makes. So the corn's juicy. It's not bad, but it's not what I was expecting at all. It's juicy, it's sweet corn. But it don't really got that elote feel to it, honestly. Not even that elote taste. I can't even taste the cheese. Cheese soggy as hell because it was wet corn and they put the cheese on top of the wet corn. Mediocre elote, I get it's like a five. So the food wasn't bad, y'all. It did what it did. Right now I'm at the 7-Eleven in the cut somewhere. And yeah. About to grab some bevies real quick. Still got a little bit of soup left. Probably about to toss it out. Soup got me feeling bloated, y'all. Super duper bloated. Hey, brother, hey, you ever had, you ever had, uh, Bidia ramen? Hell no. Man, this shit go crazy. 